Hello, my friend. Good to see you again. This is Miss Catherine Liu Bruce. Thank you. Continue praying and supporting my great Christian ministry and gospel music ministry um, and biblical precept Christian teaching online. And thank you for being faithful. Pray for me and also your financial blessing. Um, this month we reproduced the uh, Come to Me. Uh, this worship album reflected the Matthew 11, uh, verse 28. We thank you for your uh, faithfulness and being such an amazing uh, support and pray for me. The weekly message uh, title is God's Restoration to His People, Davidic uh, Covenant. If you have a Bible, uh, more than welcome, open the Bible, uh, Jeremiah 32, verse 40 to uh, chapter 33, verse 1 to 26. God's restoration. Amen. God restored the hope of His people through the Davidic covenant, uh, which He had established with His people, reaffirmed His covenant with His people in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 1 to 26. And the prophetical message had fulfilled through the Messiah Christ Jesus in the New Testament. My friend, do you lack the faith and hope in the Lord and willing to do good? For you face overwhelming consequences, dangers of darkness, and unseen adversaries and forces. Learn from the uh, psalmist King David and face dangers, uh, darkness forces, and social persecution, and unjust accusation of a wrongdoing. In his challenge and frustration, he worshiped and petitioned with doubt ceasing. He knew his God is full of merciful and compassionate, and he put his hope in the Lord alone. His blessed assurance was anchored in the Lord, and his strength was intensified by worship and praise Lord. His expression in the Psalm 27 reflected a great anthem of a praise and put his confidence in the Lord. Praise for continual victories and rejoice in his waiting on the Lord. The Lord is the light. The Lord is the light. Disper the anxiety and the dangers of darkness. His salvation guarantee the defeat of all adversary. And the Lord is a strongholder, assured victory against all assaults. King David won the victory all the way in his life as king. After he repented his adultery sins, God didn't leave him nor forsake him. Instead of a destroy of his life, God restored his fortune with hope and abundance, peace, and prosperity. God delighted his people turn from a sinful way and repent the unfaithful sins. God's Davidic covenant affirmed again by the message of Jeremiah. God's faithfulness and the promises reaffirmed the Davidic covenant to his people revealed in the Jeremiah 32 verse 40 to 33 verse 1 to 26. The Lord is merciful and full of a compassionate after he had bore a great calamity on his people. In his mercy, he restored the desolate waste land and his people's fortune after his people commit great sin. He made an everlasting covenant with them. Keep doing good to them. What is the Lord's promise to restore His people? This is the five I would love to point out. Number one, I will bring, the Lord said, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and I will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. This is in the uh, Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6. Number two, 
Lord said, the Lord said, I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will rebuild them as they were before. That's verse 7. Number 3, I will cleanse them from all the sins they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of a rebellion against me. This is num verse 8. Number 4, the Lord said, I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good to them, and that I will inspire them to fear me so that they will never turn away from me. This is in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 40. Number five, I will restore their fortunes. This is in the uh, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 44. What is the hope of his people from God's promises? I would point out the three here. Number one, the Lord said that this city will bring me renown, a renown, joy, praise, and honor before God, before all nations and earth. That hear of all the good things I do for it, and they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. This is in the Jeremiah 33, verse 9. Number two, what is the hope of his people from God's promises? Number two, the sons of joy and gladness, and the voice of a bride and bridegroom, and the voice of those who bring thank offering to the house of the Lord, saying, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good. His love endures forever. This is in the verse 11. Number three, what is the hope of his people from God's promises? Number three, for this is what the Lord says, they will never fail to have a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel, nor where the priests who are Levites ever fail to have a man to stand before me, continue to offer bone offering, to bone grain offering, and to present sacrifice. This is in the uh, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse uh, 17 to 18. Prophetic message had to fulfilled through Jesus. Jesus fulfilled the message of hope, Davidic covenant. God's love to his people is unshakable. God so loved the world, so this is also uh, reflect and jotted down in the John chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. This affirm the Davidic covenant. It says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. The message of hope through Jeremiah had fulfilled by Jesus Christ, Messiah, as the light of the world, so that everyone who believes in him shall now remain in the darkness. And he came not to judge the world, but to save the world. This is in the John chapter 12, verses 46 and verse 48 come from again God delighted to call us his son and daughters and command put your trust in the light while you have it so that you may become sons of light this is it in the John chapter 12 verses 36 Jesus affirmed that he delighted us to be called his son, his daughter, a children of a God, sons of light. He didn't want anyone perish, but repented their sins. Jesus affirmed who he is and said in the Revelation chapter 22, verse 16, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things for the churches. I am the root and of spring of Dave. See, confronted again. I am the root and offspring of Dave, the bright morning star.
Amen. Hallelujah. He confront. He fulfill the Davidic covenant. What is the theological principle that has look at? God delight in His people to love Him, to be His children, and call Him Father. However, His people have been unfaithful, who said, "How gladly would I treat you like sons." And give you a desirable land, the most beautiful inheritance of any land. I thought you would call me father, and not turn away from following me. This is in the Jeremiah chapter three, verse nineteen. God faced the people of Israel and Judah had done nothing but evil in His sight from their youth, and provoked the Lord to anger by burning incense on the roof of Baal. B A A L. The idol, okay, the end by pouring out a drink offering to other gods. They set up their abominable idols in the house of, uh, that bear his name and defy it. They built a high place for Baal in the valley of Ben Hinnom. To sacrifice their sons and daughters to Malachi, they did、uh, detestable things, and so make Judah sin. This is indicated in the Jeremiah thirty-two verse twenty-nine、uh, to thirty-five and twenty-eight. The Lord hand the city over to the Babylon Babylonians and、uh, to. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, who captured it. However, God delighted in His people, loved His people. The conditional term, the theological principle, conditional term here is that the repentance as sins. God treat idolaters as serial sin. And use metaphor to describe like a woman unfaithful to her husband. So you have been unfaithful to me, O house of Israel. This is in the Jeremiah thirty-two verse twenty indicated. Return, faithless people, declare the Lord, for I am your husband. I will choose you, one from a town and two. From a clan and bring you to Zion. Then I will give you shepherd after my own heart, who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. This is in the、uh, Jeremiah chapter three, verse fourteen. God has so loved us. Christ is bridegroom, and we are His bride and body of Christ. This is indicated. God so loved us. And he used metaphor to describe he is our husband, he is our bridegroom. We are his bride. And although God's heart was grieving for his people's stubbornness of an evil heart, yet God restored their hope and established an everlasting covenant with them, inspired them to fear him, so that they will never turn away from the Lord. As the Lord have brought this entire great calamity on His people, so the Lord will give them all the prosperity He had promised them. God establish Davidic covenant with His people, comfort them, restore their hope, satisfy them with abundance, joy, and prosperity. All the promise and blessing to His. People under a conditional term. First, his people must repent of their sin and unfaithfulness. Second, if his people put away their detestable idol from God's sight and no longer go astray, this is a theological principle, conditional term. Repentance of their unfaithfulness sin. In the Old Testament and the New Testament, unveils a thing: the Davidic covenant is everlasting, my friend. The Davidic covenant has fulfilled through Jesus, believe, who is the root 
and offspring of a Dave, yet without a sin. As light he came to the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world. He wants everyone, not perish, but repent their sin, so they may be saved. And Jesus commanded, put your trust in the light. Why you have it so that you may become son of a light. My conclusion, my friend, oh God, few people facing all the consequences and darkness of our put your trust in the light. Lift up your holy hand to pray. Praise God and petition with thanksgiving in every situation, in every circumstance, in every consequences. Put away all the detestable idol from God's eyesight and put your hope in the Lord and fear of the Lord and wait patiently for our Lord is faithful and full of mercy and compassionate to those who feel Him and repent of the sin. Jesus is the hope of life, just joy and peace. God's love endures forever. He had to pay the price through Jesus to redeem us and longing to have a relationship with us. As the Lord said, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? He who met the earth, the Lord uh, who found it, him who the Lord who found it and established it, the Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. This is in the Jeremiah 30, 30, 33, verse 2 to 3. And Jesus confirmed himself one more time in the Revelation chapter 22, verse 16. Again, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things for the churches. I am the root and the offer spring of a day and the morning, the bright morning star. My friend, call upon the name of Jesus. Trust in the Lord and then wait patiently for Him. You will hear the sounds of a joy and a gladness, the voice of a bride and the bridegroom, the voice of those who bring thanks, offering to the house of the Lord, saying, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. Amen and amen. Receive this promise in Jesus' name. Amen.